So today on the table, I've got a very expanded razor blade stealth, I believe late 2016. And this is my own personal machine, which I recently sold my Alienware for a uh, 13 R3, i7, 7700, 16 gig of RAM, 500 gig NVMe, and a 1050 Ti 4 gig. Now what I was wanting to change to was something that was a bit more powerful, but also the similar form factor. But at the same time, I wanted a larger screen, which is something that you cannot get. But as recently in one of my unboxing videos, I purchased this with a Razor Core V1 and a 1070 8 gig model. The biggest dilemma that I didn't factor in is CPU limitation, which this is only running a, I believe it's a i7, what's the model number? i7 7500U, which is only a dual core four thread processor. And as you can see right now in the video, actually, the battery itself has expanded that much, it's holding the bottom cover up. Here's the trick though, the battery is at the front. So it's a heavily expanded battery in this model, which you can see by the light reflecting off the three black pieces down the bottom there. Luckily I've already got one of these on hand to swap it over with, but unfortunately for me that the battery is out of a slightly different revision model and Windows 10 doesn't detect it properly. So it looks like I'll be purchasing another battery for it to get it going. It does run for a little bit on that battery. Windows just doesn't have a clue how much juice is left in it. A little bit disappointing, but you get that. But yeah, I'm currently opening it up purely just to put some new thermal paste and replace the battery. Which I will do a comparison with a normal healthy size battery in just a second. But yeah, anyway, I've gone down this docking station idea, which typically when I'm at home, I'll use it in the one position, usually at a bench, at a table, looking at getting a decent desk to put there, and I'm looking at just a 1080, 144 hertz panel. Being the process is a bit weak, there's no point at trying to achieve a 2K panel or a 4K panel because I don't reckon the, the processor would be able to handle that calculations. Especially from the looks of reviews online, that would be the case. So I'm limiting it to a 24 inch 144 hertz, more likely lean towards a VA panel. I was looking at 27 inch, uh, 27 inch 1080 resolution panels, but I'm not too confident on those. I reckon the pixels per inch would be, or the DPI would be too low that it'll look a bit spotty, especially using it up close. And as you can see in the footage right now, I'm comparing the stock battery in healthy condition versus the current battery in this machine, which it's bulging dramatically. I'm surprised it didn't actually explode considering how much pressure it would have been under. When I purchased the the razor, the seller was saying that the trackpad, you couldn't actually click it. It would still move around, but you couldn't click. And the keys themselves were extremely bad to respond, which, opening it up, no wonder. <laughs> but yeah, currently this docking idea, what I would like the smaller machine for is to be able to edit videos on my workbench at my workplace, which it's a right size to do that. It doesn't take up much room, the screen's not that big, it's got enough grunt to be able to edit a few videos while I'm there, and being at a game at work, there's no point having that power there. There is the odd occasion I would go to a friend's place and play games for a few hours. In that instance I could bring the Razor Core itself and just have it feed straight back into the machine. Yes, I'll lose a bit of frame rate, but then I can just sit around, play games for two, three hours, take it back home, done.
But overall, that's my current plans for this Razor Core. Granted, I'll probably get a bit toe and want to change it, but for the price that I paid for this and the Razor Core with the 1070, I don't see an issue being able to sell it all, make my money back, and then purchase something a bit more powerful. At the minute, I'm leaning towards selling the 1070 and potentially getting a five, uh, a Radian 5700 XT. But I am going to do a couple of tests prior to purchasing that, being I've got access to the t a 1050 Ti 4 gig, the 1070 8 gig, and also I'll soon have on my hands a Radian 5700 8 gig. And I'm hoping between those three models I can figure out where the best frame rate is and the best value for money to keep or to sell and go from there. So I will be doing hopefully down the line some benchmarks on the Razor Blade Stealth with those three cards in various games, probably not overly demanding ones, just ones that I have on hand. So that would be more than likely Doom 2016, which I've got a copy of that on my Steam account. Then I've also got CSGO, which is just usually my favourite one to play. I got the newer version of Prey. And we'll also be trying out Battlefield 1 single player. I believe those three, four games will give it a decent stress out or stress test. We'll probably chuck Cinebench in there just for the hell of it. So yeah, my current thoughts, plans and ideas for the Razorblade Stealth 2016. Anyway, I'll let the video play out from here, but I'll see you in the next one. Bye.